Hello friends, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video tutorial, we are going to see the steps to install and configure Hyper-V server rule in Windows Server 2016. As soon as you have the appropriate hardware and the required licenses, you can add the Hyper-V rule to Windows Server 2016 using SOM Manager just as you would add any other server rule. Or you can use Windows PowerShell to do the same. But for this demonstration, I will use Server Manager to install Hyper-V server rule on this Windows Server 2016 computer. Microsoft recommends that you do not install other server rule with Hyper-V. Any other rules that you need the physical computer to perform are better off implemented within one of the virtual machines you create with Hyper-V. You also might want to consider installing Hyper-V on a computer using the server core installation or you can use the standalone Hyper-V server variant Microsoft Hyper-V Server 2016 that does not require an existing installation of Windows Server 2016. For this demonstration, we are installing a Hyper-V server rule on this computer and already I log in as an administrator on this computer. So we have sufficient privilege to install Hyper-V server rule on this computer. First of all, you have to open Server Manager and on Server Manager dashboard, you have to click on Add Rules and Features link. On Before You Begin screen, just click on Next to continue. To install Hyper-V server rule, we have to select Rule Base or Feature Base installation options. Once you select that options, then click on Next button. On Select Destination Server, all remotely managed servers are listed in the server pool. Select the server on which you want to install Hyper-V server rule. In our case, we have only one server listed under server pool and that is the, our local server. Select the server and then click on next button. On uh, select the server rule console, select Hyper-V. Select the checkbox and that will open up one additional pop-up box that is asking us to add certain features that are required for Hyper-V like Hyper-V modules for Windows PowerShell and Hyper-V GUI management tools. Let's click on add features to add them. Let's click on next to continue. We do not need any additional features. That's why I'm not selecting any features on this console. Just click on next. Now here you can read brief overview information about Hyper-V server rule. This console also tells us the things to note like identifying the network connection on physical server to be used as a virtual switch. Let's click on next. Next, you can optionally create virtual switches based on available network adapters on your physical computer. This can be skipped and configured later or you can do it now. These virtual switches provides the connectivity between virtual machines and your physical network. If you will not select any network adapter here, then we can create a virtual switch later. But for this demonstration, I am selecting this network adapter name Ethernet 0. Let's click on next button. On virtual machine migration console, we can check allow this server to send and receive live migration of virtual machines for enabling live migration of virtual machines. Or we can just skip the steps to go ahead. For this demonstration, we are not going to enable virtual machine migration right now. And that's why I am clicking on next button. On default stores console, default location of virtual hard disk file and default location for virtual machine configuration files are specified. We can change this location accordingly or move on with the default location. I would suggest to change the location to other drive than your system drive. But for this demonstration, we are not going to change the default location because we are just testing the Hyper-V installation. We are not going to use this Hyper-V server. Let's click on next. Now I'm going to select this box, restart the destination server automatically if required. Click on yes. And let's click on install to start the installation process. The installation of Hyper-V will require a system reboot. I select the checkbox to perform automatically reboot of the server. Once the installation process is complete, the server will automatically reboot. Once the Windows Server restarts, let's again log into our Windows Server 2016 computer using administrator's credential. Let's specify the password and hit enter key. 
Once you log in, Server Manager will start automatically. Okay, here we are receiving a message that the Hyper-V server root installation has completed successfully on our local server. Let's click on close to close this console. You can manage your Hyper-V using Hyper-V Manager. To open Hyper-V Manager console, let's click on tools and select Hyper-V Manager. Okay, once the Hyper-V Manager opens up, here this is your server name and if you click on it, if you have any virtual machine created on your Hyper-V, you can see them all here. But right now, there is no VM currently available on our server because we didn't create any virtual machine on this server. I'm going to click on uh, Virtual Switch Manager. And here you can see there's a one switch. And this is the switch we created during the installation of Hyper-V. In future videos, we will see the steps to create Hyper-V switches. That concludes the video demonstration on how to install and configure Hyper-V server rule on Windows Server 2016 using Server Manager. Thank you all for watching this video.